According to experts, the American offer of F-35 fighter jets to India aims to steer it away from the S-400 air defense system, and there couldn't be a worse possible bargain for India. The F-35 is slowly overcoming its developmental problems, and is being offered to key partners such as Japan and the UK, and Australia might have to wait a decade before their orders are completed, and if India cancels the S-400 for procuring the F-35, it would impact its air defense network, and India would not have access to the F-35 at least until 2030. Lockheed designers are betting on stealth and long-range radar to compensate for its lack of maneuverability, but the history of air combat shows that visual range engagements cannot be avoided altogether. The Indian Air Force's frontline combat aircraft Su-30 has a fleet availability of just 60%, while the availability rates of F-35 have remained around 50%, with no significant improvement since October 2014. The flyaway cost of the F-35 has come down to $90 million, but the real money is in the maintenance, and the F-35 maintenance system could prove to be a nightmare, and this is the reason why several countries have reduced the order of F-35, while Canada has cancelled its contract altogether. According to latest reports, Bharat Dynamics Limited has signed a contract worth of 1,187 crore rupees for supply of indigenous heavy weight torpedoes to the Indian Navy. The execution of the contract will be over the next 42 months, and it will be manufactured under collaboration with the DRDO. The ship launched electrically propelled underwater system is equipped with one of the most advanced automatic and remote control guidance systems, and the system uses its own intelligence in tracing the target. A team of scientists and army officers from the Corps of Artillery have conducted a user-assistant technical trial of the system at the POC run test range, in which the system achieved all desired results, and now the system will be given to the Indian Army for the final round of user-based testing. The advanced towed artillery gun system is expected to be inducted in the force by 2020. The Defence Research and Development Organisation has said that the data has been collected from yesterday's hypersonic flight, and the data will be analysed to validate the critical technologies. Only the US, France, China and Australia have managed a 10-second hypersonic flight, while the DRDO has targeted a 20-second flight. The DRDO will carry out a second hypersonic flight demonstration within a year, in which the vehicle will fly for a significant duration of time. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has achieved an all-time high turnover of 19,705 crore rupees, which is a growth of 7.8% for financial year 2018 to 2019. The public sector defense major has produced the 16th Tejas light combat aircraft, ahead of the target deadline of 31st March 2019, and it currently has an order for 16 fighter jets in initial operational clearance and 16 in final operational clearance and 8 trainers from the Indian Air Force.